Hello everyone. So today we'll be looking into a, a conversion of IEEE floating point representation, how a decimal and a hexadecimal value can be converted and represented by IEEE floating point representation. Now most computers nowadays conform to the IEEE floating point representation, so that's why this, uh, we'll be looking into how it's <clears throat> how a decimal and hexadecimal value is converted to it and how it's arranged. So as you can see, in a 32-bit MIPS architecture, you have one bit, which is for the sign, eight bit, which is for the exponent, and the remaining bits, uh, 23 bits, represent the remaining numbers, remaining digits. And now we'll be converting this decimal value, this decimal value here into IEEE floating point representation, which is this, which is this format over here. Right, so as it's a negative value, as you can see, so we'll be converting first 47, to its binary representation. If you can use the calculator, it will be helpful. So I'm just going to be converting it over here. I'm just going to be writing the answer. So one, zero, one, 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 one. So this is the binary representation for 47. And 0 0.523 has to be converted manually. And uh, if you have, if you if you know how to convert the decimal, I'll just show it to you uh, like few few examples so that you would know to how to do it. So if you uh, multiply 0 0.523 by 2, you get 1.048048. Now 0 0.048 into 2 will give you 0 0.042. 0 0.042 by multiplied by 2 will give you uh, 0 0.484, 0 0.484, and so on. It will just go on. So we select the first the, the first digit here is the MSB and the last will be the LSB. So it will go on and we'll get the value something of we'll get a value of something like this 0 0.100000. Right. So right, so this is what we get. So now what we we just join this uh, the two uh, <coughs> the two representations, the two binary representations together. So ultimately, we get one zero one 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 point one four zeros and one zero, and this is a negative. Sorry, this is a negative value, right? Now what we have to do is we have to shift this decimal to the left so that there is just one uh, there is just one digit before the decimal. So we get something like one point zero one 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 one, and then the remaining part after the decimal was one four zeros one zero and we multiply this by two to the power of five now remember that when you're shifting the decimal five places to the left we write two to the power five when you're shifting the decimal five places to the right we write two to the power minus five so again if it was four places then two to the power four on the left and if it was shifting by right uh, four places to the right then we be two to the power minus four All right so this is what we get now we just write e equals this is the exponent. Now, to get the exponent part, what we do is we now we get the exponent. For the exponent part, what we do is we add this the, the power that we have over here, 5, with 127, plus 127. Since it's 32-bit, we're adding this with 127. So, we get 132, which is a decimal value. And now we're going to convert this decimal, sorry, we're going to convert this decimal value into a binary digit. So we have one, means four zeros, and then one, zero, zero. Right. Now we are done. Now we'll be just rewriting the uh, whole thing, whole calculation that we've done in the IEEE floating point representation format. So since it's a negative number, the first bit will be the sign, right? So the first bit will be minus, so one. Since it's negative, the first bit will be one. And then the eight bits is this part, this exponent part that we found out here. I told you this is a sign, this is the exponent, and this is the remaining part. So the the next uh, eight bits will be one zero 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 one zero. So we have eight bits here, one bit here. Now the remaining part we'll be getting from from all this all these digits after the decimal over here. So the twenty three bits will be from here zero one one one. One one zero 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 one zero, and then the remaining will be zero to make it of twenty three bits. It will be twenty three bits. Right. So 
So this was basically the IEEE floating point representation of a decimal number. Next, we'll be looking into how to convert it, uh, how to convert a hexadecimal, right? But first, uh, the, if, if someone asks, if the question asks that you have to convert this into hexadecimal, uh, if you have to convert this not only into binary, or, or, but also into hexadecimal, you can just convert it into hexadecimal easily. The first four bits, take four, four bits, take, divide all the numbers into four, four bits, and then you can just convert that into hexadecimal. So the first will be, for the first four bits will be, for example, one, two, four, eight, so 12. So 12 will be a, in hexadecimal, 12 is, 12 is represented with C. And then the next will be two, and then the next four bits will be so on. You just convert, keep on converting this into hexadecimal. Now we'll be converting a hexadecimal. So now we'll be like basically doing the opposite, doing the backwards calculation for this and getting the decimal representation from a floating point representation. So we'll be doing the opposite of or the backward calculation for this. Now let's convert this hexadecimal over here into binary first. So for this, we get 0, 0, 1, 1. For this, we get 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. For this, we get 1, 1, 0, 0. For this, we get 1, 0, 0, 0. And then the rest will be just uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, right? So now let's, uh, let's uh, we know that the first digit is the sign. So this is the sign. So this one bit is the sign. So it's a positive number. The next eight bits is the exponent. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So this eight bits is the exponent. So the exponent is zero, one, 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 zero, zero, one. So let's convert this. Let's we're just basically doing backhand calculation. So let's convert this into decimal. One twenty one. So we get one twenty one. Right. So when we when we uh, um, to, in order to get the decimal, we have to like uh, sorry. We have to subtract this 121 from, uh, we have to subtract this 121, uh, we have to subtract 127 from 121 in order to get the two to the power of 2, so minus 6, right. Now what we do is, we're just going to, now what we're going to do is, the remaining bits represent the remaining part, the 23 bit part. So since this, uh, uh, what you call, since we know that, there will be a fixed one, and then after that, the decimal will have the remaining part. So one zero zero one zero zero zero. Uh, one zero, yeah. So and then we have the power is two to the power minus six. This part is always fixed. This does not signify the sign of the number. This is just always there will be always be a one, right? So <clears throat> what we do is now. Oh, what you call it? Just erase that. Yeah. So now. We have to shift the shift the uh, decimal. We have to shift the decimal in such a way that it nullifies this two to the power minus six and makes it two to the power zero. Now, what, how 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 can this two to the power minus six be nullified and be made into two to the power zero? If we could just multiply this by two to the power six, then what would happen is minus six and plus six will give you zero, so two to the power zero. So how would we do this? Um, how can we multiply this by two to the power six? We can do that by shifting this decimal six places to the left. So you would have a zero point zero 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 the three zero and then zero zero uh, right and then and then one one zero zero one zero zero zero. So you get all of these parts and then you have this. You have so just just look at it like this. If you have lots of zeros over here, suppose, then you have, we want to shift this uh, decimal by uh, to six places to the left. So you would have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you would have the point here. So you have five zeros and then one, 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 and then zero, zero, one, zero, zero. Right. So the let's erase that. That was just for illustration and understanding. Right, and then we have, now we finally have 2 to the power 0. Now what do we do with all this? Now we basically just write the decimal representation of this, right? So how do we do that? We know that before, uh, before decimal, after, after decimal, we have uh, we, like this. The, 
the number increments like this minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five minus six minus seven minus eight minus nine minus ten so since we have there there are ones in three places so we're just going to be uh what you call adding these two to the power minus six plus two to the power minus seven plus two to the power minus ten and we'll basically get 0 0.0244 right so that's how you convert a hexadecimal to back to a decimal by backtracking what we have been doing in the normal uh, IEEE 14 point representation. So I hope you understood from this tutorial how to convert and convert and then backtrack back to uh, uh, convert and backtrack from a IEEE 14 point representation. Give a thumbs up if you understood from this tutorial and 